So today we're doing a somewhat difficult wheat weaving. This is a little witch made out of wheat, and basically her hat is the hardest part. If you've never won wheat before, check out the basics. Uh, it should be popping up around here, uh, just so you know a little bit more about how to start it. And then grab your wheat straws, and let's get started. So you want to start by taking four straws without heads, and you'll tie them together at the ends with a piece of white thread. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you're going to lay out the straws so that they're evenly spaced except for one spot. We call that the gap. And so you're going to fold a straw, a straw across from the gap into the gap. And you can figure out which straws across from the gap by seeing how many straws are in between it. There should be one straw next to it. So that straw goes over one into the gap, and then the next straw goes over one into the gap. And each time you're taking the straw, if you're going around clockwise, you take the straw that's next to it. That's how you know which one to fold. Because each time it's the straw next to it clockwise, and again, each time you go over one straw. So the clockwise one next to the one you just folded goes over one straw. You want to make sure that when you're folding them, you are folding them into the gap at the angle they want to go in. You don't want to adjust the angle and have it be flat. You definitely want that to be the slightly diagonal folding, because that's what gives the weaving its pattern. This is eventually going to be our witch's arms. So you just keep folding those straws into the gap, going around clockwise, folding it over one straw into the gap each time. And as you go, your wheat weaving will start to grow. If you run out of a straw, just stick another one in the end of it. And then you just keep on weaving the exact same way, folding the straws into the gap. And just allowing the straws to fill the gap. And letting your nice thin weaving grow. And as you go, it'll lock in that new straw you put in. And you won't even notice that it was there won't even really be able to see it on the weaving. So once you've got your weaving about six inches long, just take a piece of thread and tie off the ends, and then cut off the excess thread and the excess straws. So these are going to be our witch's arms. If you have any pieces sticking out where you added straws, sometimes occasionally there's a little piece sticking out, you can just trim that off because the rest of the straw will be safely locked into the weave. So then take 35 straws with heads. You want to lay them out flat so they're laying right next to each other. And then use your arms as a guide to kind of see where a witch's arms would be, usually about five inches up from the bottom of the heads. And so you just tie the straws off about there, trying to keep them as flat as possible. And then separate this is the leftover straws on top. Separate those out into two groups. And you want to put the arms right in the middle. And then you'll just tie a piece of white thread right above those arms. It doesn't have to be super tight. You don't need the straws to splay. So just, just enough to secure it so the arms aren't going anywhere. Just like that. It kind of a wild hairdo going on here. And then you take another piece of thread and tie the straws off about an inch where you made that other tie. And that'll give our witch a little bit of a head. Cut the straws off a little bit above that. And then we've got our nice flat-headed witch here. This is going to be the base. So then take a nice thick sturdy straw and a bunch of thin little straw pieces. Put the thin little straw pieces around the thick straw the end and tie those off with a piece of white thread. You want to tie this really tight because you want the little pieces to splay out pretty good. So tie this off nice and tight so that they splay out and give you your little broom look. You can trim the edges if any of them are too long. So then slide your broom up in between the pieces of the skirt until it reaches her little hands there at the end of her arms. And then just take a piece of white thread and secure the broom to her hands, tying it all off so she can hold on to her broom safely. 
So then you want to take five straws, three with heads and two without heads, and you want to, the two without heads, you want them to be about an inch below the ones with heads, and then you're going to tie them all off where the ones without heads start. And this is going to be a spiral weave. We're going to weave it around these the straws with the heads are going to be in the center, so we're going to weave it around that. So lay out your five straws at evenly spaced angles. And then what you do is you take a straw and you fold it over two so that it lays on the right hand side of the second one. So fold the straw over two so it lays on the right hand side. And then the left hand one, you'll take that and fold that over the next two, one of which is the one you just folded. So fold it over two so it lays on the right hand side. And then the left hand straw, fold it over two so it lays on the right hand side. And you just keep going around and it makes a spiral pattern. So again, left hand straw folds over two, lays on the right side. Left hand straw folds over two, lays on the right hand side. Left hand straw folds over two, lays on the right hand side. Left hand straw folds over two, lays on the right hand side, and you just keep going around like that. And that makes a very nice little spiral pattern. When you've got your spiral a little way up, you want to start widening the spiral. So to do that, you'll have to make sure that each time you lay a straw, it ends up on the outside of the one below it. So what you'll do is you'll take a straw and you'll lay it out, and this time it'll be on the left hand side when it lays down. So basically you're only folding it over one, and so then the straw on the right hand side, you'll pull that around the one on the left, and fold that over. You want to make sure that these stay wide, because if they go too tight, then your spiral is going to stay the same width, and we're widening it. So lay it out so that it's getting wider each time. So the right hand straw comes around the left one and folds down to lay on the left hand side of the next one. And you just keep going around like that until your spiral is long enough. And then cut off the ends and tie off one of them. And that should hold the other three in place. So we've got our little witch hat. It's a little bit straight up, so what you want to do is bend it while it's still wet. And you'll just want something to hold that in place. You can pin it or put a glass on it like I did. So when it's dry, it'll hold the shape. And so then just take a hot glue gun or some other kind of glue. And just put some glue on top of the witch's head and glue her little hat right on there. And then the three straws with heads stick out and they act as the witch's hair. And so then we have our nice little witch flying on a broom.